Hello everyone, it's Nalan at Naditech Studio. So today I'd like to show you something really simple and uh, it's going to be a concrete vent. So how do we create this concrete vent thing happening here in Archicad? So let's go ahead and do this and let's jump right in. In order for you to follow along just fine, I'd like to begin from afresh. So I'm going to open a brand new Archicad file so we are not biased. Okay, great. This is a new file. And we're going to start off with drawing a wall that's going to contain the window or that uh, vent sash. So I'm going to pick a wall and actually let's make it a simple wall by changing the structure to be a simple structure. And we're going to make it uh, about 200 millimeter thick. So let's draw that simple wall. The material with which it is made, I think doesn't matter right now. All we need is a wall and we're going to add in a window so i'm going to go down here and look for the window tool which is right here and we're going to do double click or click on this in order to go to the dialog box so in the dialog box we'd like to change to a multi sash window here which is this horizontal multi sash and we're going to change its parameters here the size of it so for my case, I'm going to take about three meters wide. The height can stay where it is just for demonstration purposes. So now we head over to basic window settings. So here is where you decide how many pens it's going to be made of. Could be three, I think. Let's leave it on four, which is the default one. So when we click on this, we get this range of options to choose from. So let's begin with the frame and sash settings. So within the frame and sash, sash settings, we'd like to change. So the only thing that we want to change within frame and sash is this frame dimension of this, because currently it's 50 millimeters, which is way too small for concrete. So let's make it the full size of the wall. So we're going to make it 200 so that it sits completely within there. So next we want to change the frame width. So let's go to frame width. And you can see that they are various sizes. You can see 50 and 100, but let's make it uniform such that we are able to control it. So right now it's 50, but that would be would not be really strong for concrete. So let's make it a little thick. I'm going to make it like, I don't know, 150. And that should look uh, stronger and it will be easier for people to make this thing. And the next we want to change to we want to look at the sash option so here is where you put in the vents so we change from no grid to vent sash and that is sash one so you want to also change to sash two and be able to change that to vent sash go to the third one and change that to vent sash and the final one which is the fourth one and change it to vent sash and before we leave here, we'd like to give it some parameters in here, like you can see. So what angle is it going to be? If we leave them horizontal, it's not going to look what we want them to be, which are the vents. So we can add an angle there. So I'm going to make it 45. Pretty cool. You can add any angle that you'd like. Next is the thickness thereof. So currently it is 10 millimeters and that would be too thin for concrete, like I said before. So we're going to make it like 50 millimeters because those are the vents, they can be a little thinner. And the next is the thickness, its size, like you can see here. So its size, it needs to fit within the 200 wall. So I, I wouldn't want it to go outside that wall. So I'm going to make it like 150 such so that it fits from within that 200. Great. So once I'm happy, I think we have changed just about enough things. So let's place that wall window in so i'm gonna say okay and we go onto this wall and you can place the window there by clicking the first time to place it and the second time to specify where it opens to in this case i don't think it does matter and let's go to 3d and look at what that looks like and that if we zoom in looks something like this and i think i am pretty happy in order to see it clearly i may need to change the angle of this camera let me go to 3d settings by right clicking in the 3d window and making sure that this light hits it so we can see it 
great. I think now you can appreciate what is happening. So you can see this frame which encompasses the whole wall from beginning to the other side. And then you can see the louvers which are contained within. Pretty cool. So the final thing we're going to do is change the material of it. So select it and go to settings. And within the settings, we would like to change how those materials are reflected. Let's go here and change to model attributes. And in here, we can change to uniform window surfaces such that we change this to concrete. Okay, so we have concrete auto. I think it's going to work. Don't forget the louvers as well. So let's go concrete on the louvers, concrete auto as well. So when we say okay, this looks like the concrete that we had and looked at before so that is all that i wanted to show you thanks so much for watching this one and i'll see you next time